In today's video, I'm here to show you how to color glass jars. I colored these last year and wanted to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how to do it just like these ones. Uh, these are without the background. And then I will show you with a background. Let's just jump into it. Now, this is in the 30 days of creativity by Johanna Bassford. I always think I want to color some of these and I always have some pages underneath so it doesn't transfer anything on the other side. And I'm going to use my polychromos for this example. My babies. So let me just zoom you in and then we will start. Now the quality on this camera is not the best, but it will do. And I think I want to start with this one. And the colors I will be using is Pink Matter 129. light purple pink 128 warm gray 3 272 and warm gray 5 274 Now let me just color the candies and I will be right back with you. I'm also going to go in with Delft Blue 141 for the shadows. Right, now that the candies are done, I'm going to move on to the glass. So glass is really uh, reflective and it reflects objects around it, but also the objects inside. And depending on how thick the glass is, I'm going to add some shadows now. So I'm going to try to explain. We can start with this um, top here and I want this to be glass as well. There are some indications in this glass with these dots here, how the corners here, how thick the glass is. So I'm going to put shadow on the inside of the glass and do not touch the, the line. Let there be open space here because that open space is the wall of the glass. So really lightly putting up some gray shadows, just a tiny bit on each corner and fading it out towards the middle. Then 
Okay, I'm gonna do the same on this one. Let there be a gap. This one can have in the middle since it's so tiny. Now for this circle here, I would, depending on where my light comes from, let's say the light is coming like this, then my highlight would be up here and my shadow would be underneath here. Just like that. Now, I'm going to go for the lighter gray and fill in some more. And I'm leaving a little bit of a highlight in the middle. There we go. Now comes this part, which is more tricky because I want to reflect the colors inside the jar on in the walls of the jar here. So I'm going to grab the pink and I'm slightly going to do the same. And it's really really lightly just gonna put some pink here maybe some pink here and i'm not gonna touch the lines maybe grab some of the darker one as well Barely touching the page. And I'm not going to bother with the shadow color. Now let's move on to the dark gray. And here I will do The same as I did on the top here. A bit of a harsher line next to my edge here. And I'm fading it slowly in towards the middle. I'm going to put some on the underside as well. Now this is what is reflecting on the outside of the glass. So this one doesn't matter if it hits the candy on the inside. Then the light gray. There's a bit more shadowy underneath the top here. I 
and I forgot to put the light gray in here. Now, I do like it to be some sort of, have you seen the reflection where it's like a stripe with light, but there's also stripes with shadow. So I would like to slowly put that dark stripe down here. really lightly I'm going to fade it out with the light gray This is almost like this jar is hitting a reflection on here. You can see the shadow or the, um, the image of this jar in here. So this is what it looks like now. Now I'm going to just put some more really light gray in here. It's barely showing and I'm holding on the end side of the pencil to make a light pressure. go and the next part is erasing so i'm having this servant electric eraser and i'm gonna use this to make a highlight so i'm making a stripe down here And then we're gonna go in with the white pencil. This is the luminance pencil because I find this really, this gives a really white uh, look. It has a lot of pigment, but you could also use the, these are really tiny, but <laughs> you could also use the um, Prismacolor. So now just go over it and fade it a little bit out from that stripe. Could also use it to blend a little bit here. And also on the outside here. And then we are using the white Posca. And I'm gonna do 
a white stripe in here. And I also like to cover up the black lines when I'm doing glass. we go then I also like to do like a corner in here maybe one on the opposite side could also put one right here maybe one short one here And go over this one again, put a highlight there. And there you have it. Okay, now I want to do this one, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to use Cobalt Green 156, and I think this is called Light Turquoise 154. Light Cadmium Yellow 105, Cadmium Yellow 107. Grass Green 166, and Permanent Green 266. I'm going to use the same pink colors, the same shadow color, the same gray colors, and also walnut brown 177. I will be right back with you. and the cork and I wanted this to be colored so I can show you how it will look through this part of the glass now I'm gonna start off with the cork here and I'm gonna use the uh, walnut brown that I used here and I'm gonna Put it a little bit here, not all, all the way to the edges, a little bit in the middle there. And then I'm going to do the same as I did on this one, put some grey.
at the end there, but I'm leaving a gap. Now, these candies have a lot of colors. So I'm just gonna take the brightest one or the lightest of all of these colors and put them on the inside the glass. But I'm putting it close to where they are. So a little bit of yellow there. A little bit of pink. And the blue. And I think I'm gonna do a little mixture of blue and green on this one. And then we're going to do the exact the same on this one. Not touching the corners. Here I'm going to put some shadow. Now I want to have some more here on this side. Then I want some shadow from this one. Then going in with the light gray. This one has so much color, so I don't really need to cover up so much. There we go. In with the eraser. And then the white pencil. Just to make it extra white. And I also do it in the edge here. I would like to have a highlight in this one as well. And then I'm going in with the Pasca. Starting with the lines. Highlight. Some of the corners. Don't forget the one in here. And there you have it. Now I'm going to show you one where you color in the background as well. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to use the same colors 
but the background is going to be sky blue 146 and ultramarine 120. So I will be right back. Here we have the finished coloring. Now, what do we do with the background? I have just colored through the whole thing and it's basically the same. I'm just going to grab a pink and put it in here just a little bit I'm gonna grab the gray put it in the corners The light gray will not be necessary on this one, I think. Maybe as a little bit of shadow. We're grabbing the eraser again. Just like that. You could also do a little bit here to lighten it up. And I'm going to go in with the white. And this one, this is a really good white pencil, so it will lighten up the background. And then I'm Blending it a little bit out. Where I use the eraser. Now this one can smudge the colors a little bit, so be careful.
that it also lightens the lines a little bit. And then we are going in with the Tosca. Same as the other ones. I'm going in on the edge here, covering the lines. Can you highlight? Can you hear? Maybe, maybe just one in the middle here, not all the way. Lots of light. And since this is also metallic, I want to add some there. There we go. But what if there is a permanent background? Let me show you. Now, I have a VIP in Haxen Stuga by Hannah Carlson, and this one is done with ink tents. I'm not finished with the page, but I was thinking about showing you how to make this a glass clock. Is it called a clock? I'm not sure what they're called. This one is more advanced. I would say there's a lot of colors around it. There's a light. And everything here is done with ink tents, so I can't erase it. So what I want to do first, I'm going to grab a green color. I'm using the leaf green, 112. I'm just going to add a little bit of green here and there. There is a flame, so I'm going to use some yellow, light chrome yellow, 106. I'm going to use that only a little bit here and maybe some here because the light will only hit here. Then I have these crystals, which are pink, so I'm going to add the pink, light purple pink, 128. So I'm going to add that a little bit here and here. And then on the green here, if I add pink on the green, it will look Muddy. So I'm going to try and lighten that with the luminance. Lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add the pink. There's also some yellow on these things. So I'm adding a bit here. And some there. And then the shelf here would also reflect up on the glass here. I'm just going to grab 
the warm gray five and put a little bit of shadow down here grabbing some walnut brown What I also did in this background is that I added black here for shadowing the glass. The glass will make a shadow. I would lighten up this yellow a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the warm gray again. And now we will do the same as we did on the other ones, where I put some shadow on the edge here. I might actually use black since it's a really dark background. I usually almost never use black. But we could try that. Same on this side. And also in this circle handle. I would like to lighten up here. And now for the highlights, you can see this one, this glass is round. So I would follow that shape. And then Go straight down. You can see how much coverage this um, luminance pencil does. I'm also going to do it in here, following the shape of the glass. I'm going to do a little highlight here. Maybe one here. And then with, in with the Posca pen, I'm going to put it on the line. And also in the highlights here. I think I want to go in with some more 
subtle highlight. Doesn't always have to be there as bright as this. And now since, since this one has a yellow light from a candle, I'm also going to go in with a yellow Posca pen and just touch this side. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments if you want to try this out. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!